G'day LA, we're out here at uh, Amelia Mayberry Skate Park in Whittier, meeting up with Dan, naturally, I'm gonna do some skating, get some clips, and yeah, I'm gonna have a good old time. Okay, so this video is all about my vegan shoes. Dan's a vegan now. <laughs> Shut up. Surprisingly. Don't spread rumors. <laughs> <laughs> someone, don't, don't spread slander. Someone commented no, on his video spreading a rumor that he was uh, whiskey drinking at El Serena spitting at children. <laughs> I think <Yeah>. it's hilarious. <laughs> I can't even think of the last time I've like had whiskey, much less spit at children. Just, Spitting at children, more recent, probably. <laughs> probably that's probably only been about a week, but the whiskey, I mean, the that's whiskey. been years. Feeble back 180 is what yeah, we're learning today. I'm trying to do a feeble back 180 today. That's what I want to get. So I know I can feeble, but just putting the back 180 in. I think I front 50 50 back 180 out of this one time a long time ago. Yeah, and I think feeble is cooler and maybe even a little easier. But then you're waiting till you're like here, right? Yeah, actually. It's, it's hard to say which one's easier and which one's harder because with the back 50-50, you can pop out at any point in time because you don't have to unlock your wheel. But personally, I think like locking into a feeble grind and getting your shoulder twisted up the way you need to is a little bit easier with a feeble. It's hard to tell. Damn. Yeah, just commit the shoulder. I, if you were to land it at first try have been just so funny like you'd have to post this as a youtube shorts like <laughs> that was scary to like really commit your shoulders you were fine you would if you would have just wrapped your legs around you would have done it remember the ground's got enough slick that even if you under rotate you can push your body weight to just make it go what well, i slept in today and ruined my day that's a real thing don't sleep in kids get up like at uh, 9 a.m like ray Corey does <laughs> no he's day. at the gym by nine. Oh yeah that's the latest he gets up is yeah. 9 a.m i need to be on that Okay, I'm gonna come show you what you did wrong. So his problem with that last one was he kept his shoulders open. And I'm telling him like, yeah, this shoulder needs to be over there as you're coming out. Cause whatever that shoulder does, the, your board's gonna yeah, follow a hundred percent. It's just, it's so scary just going, oh, I'm here now, I'm gonna be, go here, yeah? But I feel like you got, you have the board control and the back 180s to just make it work. It might be scary, but I think it'll just go. There it was. I didn't. You didn't turn your shoulder like when you needed to, or at least as soon as you needed to, but it still started to work. Yeah. See, Just, you got it. It's hips and shoulders I suck at, like, you know, being loosey-goosey and just being able to be like. Yeah. No, it's hard to throw your body weight different places for sure, I'm especially to, when it's pretzel. I'm trying to envision like John Cardiel, just like. It's like Gumby. Yeah, he's just, I'm all stiff. Shoulder, throw that shoulder. You know, it's funny, like back 50, I can front 180 out of back. Front 50, I can back 180 out of, but like this is like, how come these tricks aren't correlating together? Right now they should. It's all in your head. You make it correlate. Yeah. I thought you were gonna do it. I thought about it for too long. That was it, dude. Like, don't think you're in a feeble and you're straightened out and then you're trying to like, it looks like you're trying to do like this thing where you're pushing your board ahead and then you're trying to turn your shoulders just be leaning back 180 as you're grinding like you should be grinding no, no, i know what you mean yeah, yeah like, already twist it while you're grinding like once you lock the feeble grind or at the second you're in start turning your shoulders okay that's better i want you to be grinding this feeble and i want to be able to visibly see both of your nipples i want full body torso tor towards me and then you're just gonna scoop it back 180, just roll away switch. Super easy. Well, let me see them nips right here. I'm trying to think, pressing into my heel and then my... Yeah, exactly. Turn. Like, have you ever, ever, like a lot of times when I feeble rails, my body's super tweaked to the side to yeah, back 180 all, out. looks cool. I look like a fucking lead pencil. But just, it's just about twisting my body. I'm not doing it to look cool. Lord knows I can't do that. But like, I'm early setting my shoulder and my body weight to spring out. Now we're getting there. Now we're getting there. What the fuck was that? What do you mean that was the trick you were trying? Why did I, why did I choose to just go back to regular? Because you're sick. Woo! Back five? My guy, I wish I could do that trick. Oh Look how safe God. you are. Look how chill fine. you are. I was okay. Worst lock impossible. Still alive to try another try. Oh! It's coming, baby. Next try.
<laughs> I've never seen that trick before. I can either like not spin it or spin it too much. I think that's the hardest part about skateboarding is like when you're coming close to a trick and then you just feel it slipping out of your hands like further and further and you have no idea what you're doing different or what's wrong or... And because it's a, it's totally vague. Like I know how to feeble, I know how to 180, but the feeling of doing those two tricks together, it's weird. Yeah. Like you said, this tries are gonna feel like the last ones because it's a different thing. Yeah, you gotta get it. Movement. Yeah, like the other tries weren't working so you gotta change it up a little bit. Yeah. Which sucks, like, I mean, I had the exact same problem that you're having right now with backside nose slide 270s. It's a trick I a thousand uh, billion percent understand how it works. There's nothing anyone could ever say to me that would help me think of it differently. I get it, but when I happens. go to try it, it just would not work. My shoulders wouldn't go the way I wanted them to go. Yeah. And so I had to start going really slow and break it down step by step, stalling yeah. it. And then I'm like, okay, got to figure it out. Try right again, on. nope, yeah. nope, right back to square one. Didn't help at all, like it was such a, I literally came to the skate park a couple times and, and like on separate occasions spent maybe 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes yeah. trying to learn it on this ledge. I found out I could do it on rails fine because like I can stand it up like a blunt. Right. But with the ledge, I, I couldn't make it wow. click. Yeah. Uh, and when it finally did, I guarantee if I stood up and tried to try them right now, I'd probably be not at square one, but I'd probably be at like square four. Like square. it would take me like a good 10 tries to refigure yeah, it out. Yeah, it's just, it's skating is weird. A thousand percent. Some tricks work really well because it's like a combo of a few tricks and you're that feeling is relative, but then some are just completely unrelated. Yeah. You're putting them together. There's like a weird bridge that connects them. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like hooking up with your cousin. It's, it doesn't feel quite right. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Whenever I hook up with my cousin, that shit is fire. Marilyn's about the south. <laughs> That's not even relevant. Marilyn, Mar we're not, we're not incested, Marilyn. You know what it was? When I was in the feeble, I was like, think like this. <laughs> <laughs> think like the what? Tom Brady. Throw it over the moon, baby. I just, like, was on the feeble and I was conscious to like put this in my line of sight and then just... Was that it? Do it again. Two to be true type of life. Yeah, two to be true. Well, I mean, this was a battle. And I think sometimes with battles, you're allowed to walk away with one, but you at least have to try five more after you make oh, it. Geez. Yes. I guess so. Well, uh, try one more just for fun. That was it, though. That would definitely count it. I like that one more than your other one. That was sick. I'm done, dude. Thank you. That was a fun battle, though. You won. Yeah. Could have been a whole different day if you didn't. I feel like the juice wasn't worth the squeeze. Really? I haven't seen the clip, but... I feel like you're going to be able to come back next time, though, with fresh legs and yeah. be able to, like, handle it. I think the biggest thing was, like, once I was in cozy in that lock, bringing that arm up and in my line of sight, so then I can go, oh, that's right, I need to go this way. Because mm. every time I get on a feeble, I'm, like, trying to, like, sit there i'm like i'm in the pocket i don't want to leave it you know so that was definitely an odd feeling for me Dead you twice. know what i want to try one day not today of course front smooth back 180 out oh that's such a cool trick i feel like i would have better luck at that really yeah nice you did Here it I am. you did it thank you <laughs> maybe next time yeah, let's do that next time. Front Smith back when 80. I'll hold you yeah. to it. You'll at least have to Everyone try a couple. Everyone comment Front Smith back when 80. I feel like you got it. I feel like that's the opposite of how most people feel about that trick because I think Front Smith back when 80 is way more awkward. But if yeah. you're more comfortable with it, different strokes for different folks for sure. So I know I can get a pop out of that Front Smith mm -hmm. to get me up in the air. Then I just need to like kind of give it a twist. Probably work better on a flat bar than a ledge though, I would think. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Front Smith back when 80s on ledges. You can scoop them off the end. For sure. Okay. Yeah. Just watching the video this far, if you've made it this far, a little bit of a battle with this feeble back 180. Um, I'm going to be going on a road trip out to Colorado with my girlfriend in the next few days. So if you're from out those ways, drop a comment below. Let me know what parks and what spots to hit up. I'm really keen to get on the road because I've never been inland in America. I've been up the West Coast, but this is my first time going inland into the center of America or closer to the center of America anyway. And yeah, 
There's a sale on right now over at eveningmob.com. Go and check it out. It's like 20% off up to, up to 20% off on certain things. So I'm trying to clear some space to print some new stuff for winter. Yeah, so make sure you check out eveningmob.com. Um, subscribe if you're new. That's about it. Cheers for watching the video. See you guys in the next one. Red, I want you to go to his house. Blow that joint up, don't let nobody out. Oh, get Trigger Man, bring him to me. Cause I'm tired of this Trigger Man stuff in Tennessee. Now all the time while this stuff is going on, I called up another roadie on my flip phone. Junior, I want you to call down the Texas Special Order me a man to man. Oh, <laughs>